Hi, I'm Jaeger Place. Welcome to a shot of Jaeger. Today I'm here with Bill Arlo. <laughs> and today we're going to be hanging out, getting to know each other a little bit in like the least creepy way possible. Yeah. So, Mr. Barlow, <laughs> would you please introduce yourself and let these beautiful people know who you are and what you do? Sure. Uh, well, I'm Bill Weiler. Uh, for real name's Will. Um, I, um, I make YouTube videos about Minecraft and those kind of things, occasionally other games, and I stream quite a lot on Twitch, mostly mini games and those kind of things with viewers, I guess. Cool. So it's, yes, it's that kind of stuff. It's, Sounds like it's fun. All, it's just fun interaction kind of thing, things. Awesome. Indeed. Right. So... To start out, I'd just like to say that as a fan, it's a great pleasure to be here with you today, and I'm pretty excited. So if you don't mind, I'd like to get into things. Okay, sure. Go All ahead. right. So first, I'd like to ask you, uh, what kind of drew you to Minecraft? Um, it was um, actually my brother, Ed, or Boxer from Jolo, because he was playing it like before we started doing videos or anything like that. And I was, I was just kind of, I have to get this game, but at the time, I had no job. I was like... I was like, I could afford it, but at the same time, I knew it'd stop me from getting a job because all I would do is play Minecraft. So I forced myself to get a job, like, got all that out of the way, and then started playing it, and then slowly but surely just kind of started doing videos with Matt and Ed, and it kind of grew from there, but it was just like a want to actually have it because I knew the amount of stuff I'd build would just be insane. Exactly, yeah. That's kind of the same reason I got into it. Um, wh wh so what kind of. Potential. Yeah. Um, what kind of drew you to start making YouTube videos? On kind of um, the same note, I've been making YouTube videos of, of all kind of different sorts for about six years. Oh wow! Uh, yeah, uh, there was a super old channel that I used to do with my brother. Uh, that's now all hidden because it's just shockingly terrible. It's like the worst <laughs> kind of videos. It wasn't gaming. It was just kind of like vlog slash sketches and stuff. Oh, it's cool. um, I don't know. It's it's kind of weird. Basically, it was just, it was it was all kind of terrible. It was fun, but um. Yeah, it was just it was just something different, and then I started doing the It's Will Barlow channel, uh, like the name after my Twitter. Yeah, that was like uh, text videos, those kind of things. Once again, horrible, <laughs> really bad, like four by three videos of me trying to review apps and talk about tech, and it was just kind of bad. Then I started taking it seriously, did Jolly Old Tech, uh, which I'm starting up again soon. We're gonna do some bits and bobs on that, but that's gonna be pretty much in the background. Oh, cool. Um, then obviously started doing videos with. Matt and Ed kind of in between that as well, doing just jolly old Brit stuff, doing uh, Myth Madness, those kind of things. Oh, sweet. And then, sweet, sweet. Like, just last year in July, I uh, just decided to start doing my own thing just because I had a lot of spare time. A lot, a lot of spare time. I was like, okay, well, I might as well do something with it. So I started Bill Wilder. And I think just last night or this morning, uh, I hit 15K, which is quite nice. So it's, yeah, congratulations it's, 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 on that. It's all, it's, all, it's all going quite well. Yeah, I I'd say so. Um, was there like any person or I guess YouTuber that you kind of like looked up to when you first started out? Uh, it's the same person I still do now. It's it's C Nan. It's only because he does basically what he likes. He has fun. His friends, you mean, play along with him and stuff like that. And he just he, he just does really well. I've always liked him ever since he did Call of Duty. Yeah. Before he started doing Minecraft or anything, I used to watch him all the time. And he just like he seemed to like be quite logical about the way he did his commentaries and stuff like he talked about tattoos and it's something i still agree with like i want to because i want to get a tattoo obviously most yeah. guys do. but i'm even though i'm 23 i still think that i am too immature to choose a tattoo that i won't regret in two years <laughs> i'm not gonna look at it and think you idiot like why is this on your arm yeah um i guess I is for sure. yeah no c is great i mean yeah, he's i mean i love watching his videos um like the trouble and terror sound stuff, man. The hidden's probably my favorite one. The Morgan yeah, Freeman he episode. Gets, he just has a lot of fun. It's just fun to watch. Yeah, I mean, as long as he's having fun, I feel like I'm having fun watching him. And exactly, it's, it's, it's consistent daily fun content. Like it's, it's, I can't match it what he does, but it's still super good. Yeah, I think you're coming close personally. I mean, <laughs> your videos are. You seem like you're having fun, and that's I think the main thing exactly. in making that's YouTube videos. Thing. It, it's just it's constantly trying to have fun and do different things. Like obviously, I started doing redstone tutorials and trying to do, like do mod reviews and like just trying to do everything different and fun. Like I've started the Billville series where I'm like taking viewer suggestions and then building stuff into this village that I found and basically slowly but surely expanding it. Yeah. Like uh, just whatever I can do to basically interact with the fans as much as possible is what I want to do. Yeah, that that's awesome. 
Mm. Um, so I guess as an older member of like the Minecraft community, how do you feel it's, and I don't mean older as like senior citizen, um, <laughs> walker <laughs> old, but, uh, like as, a, a, um, a few years than most people. yeah, like it's a more mature, I guess, um, Minecrafter, uh, how do you feel the community's kind of changed since you started out? Do you feel like it's changed for better, for worse, or...? Um, it's, it's different, certainly. It's like it's, it's, it's a bit bigger, but that's not always a bad thing. Obviously, it means there's more diversity. Like, for example, a lot of people just kind of like coming out of nowhere. Like, obviously, Zexy Zek was around for a good while doing his parodies, but now, obviously, he's doing really well for himself. I mean, he's, he's got a nice big channel. Like, it's, 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 it's good, honestly. I, I like the diversity. Like, um... I'm probably going to start playing Xbox One Minecraft as and when that comes out, and I like the idea of just like, ooh, nice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like the I, but um, no, I just I, I like the diversity honestly. There's nothing wrong about the Minecraft community at the moment, realistically. Like it's not like the Call of Duty Minecraft, uh, sorry, the Call of Duty community where it's like um, kind of dark and not really what you want to be a part of because it's it, like it's it got kind of terrible towards the end. Yeah. Like, it was just people out for themselves, whereas Minecraft, there's a lot more collabs, there's a lot more shout outs, there's a lot more friendship. Yeah. Like, a lot of my friends that I have today is down to Minecraft. My entire life, the way I live day to day, is down to Minecraft and how it, you mean, it's where it's got me. So I have no issue with the game at all. Cool. I love it. Yeah, I did the same here. Um, I guess, uh, as you're the staff manager at The Hive. Correct. What does that entail for people who may or may not? No. Uh, it's basically uh, just making sure all the staff know, obviously, up-to-date rules and stuff like that, as well as hiring new staff, like, because we have just about 100 staff members in total of uh, moderators and a few senior moderators. Wow. So, yeah, there's, there's a lot on there, but we've got, like, a, we've got, like, a diverse speaking one as well, because I, I, you know, since the Hive kind of is all over the place, we've got, like, people who speak Arabic, we've got people who speak German, French. Uh, obviously, we've got people on American time, so I've got like I've got basically a bit of everything moderator-wise to make sure everybody's covered. Cool. Everybody gets along real well. We have nice game nights and stuff like that. But it's it's basically just making sure it's the community itself is taken care of by having enough moderators. Like on our last application run, we were open. We had our applications open for about a week and a half to two weeks. We had about two thousand six hundred applications for moderators. Wow, two thousand. Jeez. Yeah. So that I'd, was fun to go through. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it's all part of the job, and I love it because it means I get to find new people. I'm I'm making sure the community is taken care of, and it's it's the best thing, honestly. It's just fun. I really enjoy the job. It's day to day, but it's good. Yeah, I like interviewing people and that kind of stuff, and basically just introducing new people into it, and it's good. Honestly, it's awesome. Um, so like you mentioned, fifteen thousand subscribers. Again, congratulations on that. That's Thank a you. pretty big milestone. Um. What's it like knowing that that many people love your content and just want to watch all your videos? It's 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 weird. It really is. <laughs> it's because it, I started Bill Wilder for fun, and that's the best way to start any Minecraft or any YouTube channel is just to have fun and mess around and I mean, do videos with friends. Yeah. I'm lucky enough to know some quite big people in the community, but that's just through chance alone. Like, for example, Jerome, you mean Jerome ASF, he's doing really well for himself right now, but yeah. I knew him back when he first started doing his separate channel. We met two and a bit years ago, back when Jolly Robert started doing Minecraft for the first time as well. And we did, like, Race for Wolves and stuff like that, and we've just always stayed in touch. Yeah. Then when I started doing Bill Wilder, like, after a while, he, asked, he was like, do you want to do some videos together? I think we talked about it over Christmas or New Year. We were just chatting on Facebook, and I was like, well, yeah. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I saw no reason not to. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, it's helped massively because I mean, Jerome's a big influence and he helps a lot. But he does the same thing. He just has fun, and he, he, he I mean, he loves his audience. It's the same sort of thing. It's just, it's, it's odd to think fifteen thousand people have clicked the same button and viewed the content. But it, it's, 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 it's just one of those things. It's kind of odd to grasp. It's never really because fifteen thousand people—that's a lot. There's no to imagine fifteen thousand people is insane. Yeah, well, I mean. Like, if you take a soccer, uh, I guess, sorry, football stadium, and uh, <laughs> that would be like probably like the lower bowl in some of them, right? Exactly. It's, a, it's, a, it's about a quarter of a stadium of like Manchester United Stadium. I think it holds about 60,000 thereabouts. I might yeah. be wrong on that number, but that's like that's a good quarter of the stadium. That place is massive. Yeah, no, I think Old Trafford is about, about 60,000. Oh, well 000. remembered. Yeah. I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to like alienate you, but you knew what Old Trafford was. So that's yeah, cool. yeah, no, I'm my best friend. Uh, his parents are British, so uh, 
I mean, we we've been playing FIFA since we were oh man, ten, oh, eleven I'm years FIFA. old. So <laughs> I've never done a video on FIFA, but I play a ton of FIFA. Yeah, I've been playing it since like '95. Wow. Uh, like FIFA 95, obviously, because I'm old. But like uh, <laughs> uh, FIFA 14, I'm in Division 2 now for Ultimate Team Oof. on Xbox One. Jeez. Yeah, I play a lot of FIFA. It's like it's like my downtime game. See, I I'm tried to... Everything. I tried to make like a FIFA Ultimate Team because, I mean, Canada, the big sport's hockey, of course. And uh, my hockey Ultimate Team, I'm Division 2. And uh, I was like, oh, well, I mean, I'm pretty decent at FIFA. I, I guess I'll make a... FIFA Ultimate Team. Uh, what a mistake. It, it's hard. Yeah. <laughs> I, I started doing it last year, like messing about with it. You, you Realistically, you've got to put a little bit of money in, otherwise you just won't have a good team, otherwise it'll take you forever to trade up. Yeah. I, I think I bought like the £15, about $23 worth of pack yeah. things. Like when I first got it, and then from there I've just traded up. I've got an entirely Spanish team. This is all irrelevant to what we're supposed to be talking well, about. Well, I mean, <laughs> we're supposed to be having fun. This is a shot it's of Jaeger. Like, yeah, Come on. Um, I, I love FIFA Ultimate Team. I, I, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's stressful as anything when you play realistically, oh, yeah. even though it's supposed to be my relaxation game, but I just love <laughs> FIFA. I play it a lot. My brothers play it. It's just fun to play. Yeah. Um, so I guess back to the topic of Minecraft and the 15k subscribers, you have any crazy stories about, like, uh, I guess maybe, like, a subscriber, like, recognized you or an encounter with uh, a subscriber? I've, I've been, in Bristol, I got recognized once or twice over, like, a, a six-month period. It's not, it's, it's, it's an odd thing, <laughs> because you never want to know how to react, and I've had a separate intervent, uh, into, uh, what is the word, in met one anyway basically uh, when we, we did a, uh, a a gaming event called i49 with the hive went there we had a load of pcs set up and like like anybody could play a hive games so you had like a full booth basically it was about 30 computers worth wow. and um that was really cool but the, um we had a night out like in the on the town during the event and basically everybody got a little bit necessarily carried away <laughs> with the <laughs> good uh, good the term next, yeah, yeah, but the next day, I was feeling a little bit um, dehydrated, let's say. Uh, <laughs> and that was possibly the day I got recognized the most, and it couldn't be worse timing. Because I was just constantly trying to either get fresh air or basically try and sort myself out. Yeah. And I got stopped so many times. It was just, it was the weirdest day. I don't know why. I think it's because Saturday, so a lot more people were just doing the day visit. But, like... I'm stopping for photos, looking incredibly hungover, like, yep, just like leaning over, like, <laughs> just gonna go get some fresh air. Like, <laughs> I'm smiling, I swear. <laughs> exactly. It was just like, it was really odd, but I love, it's, it's awesome to be recognized. It's a weird thing, again, because you never really expect it, and when it happens, you're like, really, me? Yeah. Because I, I, I never see myself as a big deal. It's, 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 obviously, it's important not to, but at the same time, it's, I just don't think I'm anything special. I'm doing what anybody else could do. It's just people happen to enjoy me doing it more than other people, I guess. But anybody can do what I do. I, I know that sounds arrogant, but it, like literally, like I play the same games that anybody else could play, and I, I, I mean, I, I try and have as much fun as anybody else could have. It's just a, it's a lot of luck, if I'm being honest. It's a lot of luck to be where I am today. Like I, I can't put it entirely down to skill because people just happen to stumble across my videos, like it, and subscribe, and it kind of tumbles from there. Cool. Um, so I guess outside of Minecraft, one of your other hobbies would be FIFA, but are there any other kind of quirky hobbies, like cooking or knitting or... Uh, uh, baking, actually. Baking. Out of everything, yeah. I, I, uh, my grandma taught me when I was younger, and I've always really liked it. I'm not... I, I mean, I'm, I'm good at baking. The only thing I can't do is cookies. It's the weirdest thing. can never make good cookies. I will follow the recipe exact. <laughs> like, literally, step by step, really painstakingly careful, and I'll mess it up. I don't know why they always, I call them bookies because they're like baked like bun cookies. It's the weirdest thing. I just can't make them. Yeah, I have the exact same problem. I used to call them cakeies where they'd like rise up and be almost like too fluffy. Exactly. And, uh, and I, I don't understand it. I'm using the right flour. I'm using, oh, there's a pig here. But, uh, um, I'm, I do everything and it still goes wrong. It's it's the weirdest thing. But um, I can do like um, Kit Kat cupcakes, for example. Those ooh. things are a pain. But they... I've got photos on my Instagram of them, but like, it's Listen. literally like you've got to break up some Kit into the mixture. It's like you got to put a little bit of coffee in there. Like prep time alone is like 40 minutes before you even start baking. Yeah. But those things are awesome, but I like to bake. It's quite nice. They sound absolutely wonderful. Oh man, Kit Kat cupcakes. Yeah, 
<laughs> that yeah. man, mind blown. Seriously, I didn't even think really that nice. was possible. <laughs> Seriously, look into it. There's, there's a few recipes online, but they're super nice. Yeah. Um. So, as you are from the UK, I mean, it's kind of typical that most people there are fans of football. Yes. You are. I am. Who do you support? I don't. You don't. And uh, it's only it's only because since school I always had the simple like idea of uh, I, I, any time you pick a team, the other so somebody else is gonna have another team. It's gonna be like oh no they're terrible. Why don't you support blah 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 like oh like you said Chelsea oh Chelsea really Mourinho <laughs> and it's like oh why do you ask? So I, I mean I love football. I enjoy watching it. I I'll, I'll, I'll go to like Manu games because it's like the biggest stadium near me. I'll go watch Manchester play and stuff like that. Yeah. I love the atmosphere, but I don't always really pick a team necessar necessarily. Unless England's playing, obviously, yeah. probably behind England. But I don't have a team to pick only because it's just it's far too irritating when it causes such a nonsense of drama. It's not as bad now, obviously. I'm in my twenties or whatever, but I just enjoy the sport too much to pick one team. Well, I mean that's the main thing, right? The fact it's more so the love of the game than the love of a team, right? Exactly. Um. So, you're from Bristol in the beautiful United Kingdom. Mm -hmm. I originally born in the Leeds or York, basically, area, but I li I'm currently living in Bristol, yeah. Cool. Now, there's actually two other famous animated people from Bristol. Do you know who they are? Would that be the Oxcast? No. Oh, I I'm not Bristol. talking Minecraft. I'm talking animated. Wallace and Gromit. Oh, I forgot they were from Bristol. Yeah, the West Country people, of course. Yeah. That explained it, actually, because last year there was a load of uh, different coloured grommets all around Bristol. <laughs> like, that would like, probably be... proper, like, about five foot tall grommets. That's terrifying. <laughs> they were all, like, differently, like, decorated and stuff like that, so there's little dinosaur ones and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's cool. Thing. All right. I forgot they were from Bristol. So, I have one last question before we get into some rapid-fire questions. Ooh, rapid-fire. Okay. Rapid-fire. Um, so if you could meet any person from any time period, who would it be and why? Ooh, I was not ready for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, from any time period. Oh my God, there's a pig on the side of this glass. So I shouldn't get distracted. <laughs> um, any time period. I, I, although it seems like cheating, what about, since we can go any time period, can we go into the future? Um, sure. Future me. For future you. Yes, because then if anything goes wrong, I can warn myself ahead of time and change it. But that would cause a rift in the fabric of the space-time it, continuum. It makes two separate timelines. I'm aware of the, the, <laughs> the, the timeline rules, but it, if, if I can use this to my advantage, I don't, like, although it'd be cool to speak to Benjamin Franklin or Nikola Tesla about why he got duped out of the whole light bulb thing. Yeah. Like, if I can benefit myself and be cheeky, I think I might <laughs> be a bit more advantageous. All right. Well, that's, I mean, not the answer I expected, but that's a really, really good answer. Um, all right, so here we go, rapid fire round. Yes or no questions, or this or that. Okay, fish and chips or burger and fries? Fish and chips. Car or motorcycle? Car. Long walks on the beach or a romantic candlelit dinner? Long walks. Football or American football? Football. Lamborghini or Mini Cooper? Lamborghini. Tea or coffee? Coffee. A bacon buddy or a roast dinner? Ooh, bacon buddy. A suit and tie or jeans and t-shirt? Suit and tie. All right, and the last question. If you could choose to fight a bear-sized honey badger or a hundred honey badger-sized bears and could only use a badminton racket as a weapon, which one would you choose? Uh, bear-sized honey badger, only because there's one to fight off instead of a hundred <laughs> angry like, honey badgers coming at me. I'd have no legs. Uh, They'd just take me out. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that would be terrifying. Yeah. All right. All right, well, I think that just about wraps it up. Uh, make sure you check out Bill Warlow's channel in the description below. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, even the tiniest bit, like humanly possible, to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome stuff like this. Will, is there anything else you'd like to add? 
um, no, that's about it. Make sure to subscribe to this guy because he does seem incredibly professional. Uh, I'm going to be liking this video, so you should too. Cool. All right, as always, I'm Jaeger Plays here with Bill Waller. And this is a shot of Jaeger, and we'll see you next time. If he doesn't survive, he's worth a lot to me. The Empire will compensate you if he dies.